Welcome to Open Source Options. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use Python Jupyter Notebooks with Visual Studio Code. Now, before we start, I want you to know that I just barely uninstalled Visual Studio Code and reinstalled it with a fresh install on my machine. So I'm starting fresh just like you will be. That said, there are some settings that can get saved locally, and so yours may not appear exactly the same as mine. Now over here um, in my editor, you can see I have a project open with some code. There's some Python files and some, Py and some Jupyter Notebook files over here. Now getting this to run with Jupyter Notebook in Visual Studio Code is actually really, really simple. All we need to do is go over to the extensions panel and you can see that I have six extensions installed here. Now these were installed when I opened up Visual Studio Code right after I installed it. So you may have these installed already. But I have Jupyter, Jupyter Keymap, Jupyter Notebook Renderers, Live Server, PyLance, and Python. Now, if you don't have these installed, what you can do is you can come up here to your extensions panel over here on the left side, go into the extensions, and start searching for these. So, like, I can start typing Python, and all these Python, um, these Python extensions will come up. And so you can see... Uh, just to, you can just click install over here to install those. Okay, and you have the extension pack. But like I sh like I said, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to go to my installed. I only have these six installed, and things will work. Now let's go back over to the code. And so once you have those extensions installed, if I click on um, let's say this create arrays ipython notebook, um, you can see that that it's rendered now as a Jupyter Notebook. And I can go in here, after I select the kernel, so you can see up here it says kernel, if I try to run this, this cell right now, let's see what happens. It should enter and it pops up and says you need to select the kernel. So let's go ahead and we'll select the, from a Conda environment, this is the base kernel. And now if I run this, it shift enter to run the cell. It's running so you can see the time right there now I can run this markdown and now I can run this next cell and you can see it gives me the time it took to run and it gives me an output and we can just work through our notebook just like this uh, and you can see that okay now let's say let's let's give something a test let's say we have um, an anaconda environment which let's go ahead and just create a new one and let's do conda create and uh, name, call this VSC, and Python equals 3.9. So let's create this environment. And once it's created, it will activate it over here. Now notice why I'm doing this is I um, don't actually, I haven't actually installed Jupyter for this environment yet. And I'll show you that once it finishes installing. So I'm just gonna give this um, a quick pause here while we install. Okay, we're all ready to go here. So let's uh, do conda activate VSC. And then let's do conda list Jupyter. And this will tell us if it's installed. You can see there's no installed packages. So let's come back over to Visual Studio Code. Let's change this kernel to VSC. Okay, and now let's see if this runs even though Jupyter is not actually installed and actually NumPy is not installed. So let's go actually first and do uh, make sure Honda install NumPy. We make sure we have that so this code will run. And this will take just a second here. So I'm going to pause this while this installed. Okay, so we've got NumP installed. And if you're curious about how to link up um, Anaconda with Visual Studio Code, it's really easy. I have a tutorial for that on the website. Um, so you go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and run this now. I'm going to hit Shift Enter to run that code. Requires. Yeah, see, so it says that uh, we don't have the uh, IPy kernel package, which 
we can do this. So let's come over here and let's do conda install Jupyter. And hopefully this will fix the problem for us. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and say yes. And once again, I am going to stop. Okay, so now this is almost uninstalling. I just want to point one thing out here, and you'll notice IPyKernel right here is now installed as part of Jupyter. So now let's come back over here, and let's try to run this again. Notice we still have our kernel VSC, which is the one we're working on with the installs with Conda. Let's hit Shift-Enter, and... Let's see here. Let's restart. Oh, let's go to running cell. There we go. Now we're running. You can see that NumP was now imported. We can run this markdown and we can run this code. So there you go. That is how you can set up Visual Studio Code to use Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, and then you can develop these directly in VSC and not have to interact with the web interface, which I like the VSC interface quite a bit better than the default Jupyter web interface. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you have questions, go ahead and put them in the chat and don't forget, or in the comments, and don't forget to check out the tutorial on the website. Thanks for watching.